Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Myself Aisha Sheikh, my sister Zainab Sheikh, and my brother Abdullah Sheikh, and welcome back to our channel, The Sheikhy Triplets. We have finally come from the break with an uh, with an exciting uh, exciting news and interesting video. We have a very uh, we have a great surprise for you guys. So watch till the end to find out. Here we begin our video with spaghetti being boiled. As you all can see, we're boiling noodles. We have we were having this for dinner right before Maghrib over here. It was eight o'clock. It was pretty late, and our stomachs were really hungry, so we had to make uh, noodles. Here we already chopped some garlic, uh, bell pepper, and chicken, which we had to cut into small pieces so it would taste better with the noodles. Also, we only had one packet of noodles, and we usually need three packets for our family. So here we had this frozen pizza. We got a uh, chicken tikka pizza we got like a few days ago. It was very, like sauce was also very less, and so was the cheese. So we had to shred some mozzarella cheese, and we added on top. Here, all three of us were putting some cheese on top of the pizza. And I was not wearing scarf, so don't mind. to strain the noodles because it was really heavy and hot here the pot was getting uh, hot warmed up here we put the oil with which we fried the chicken with so we could reuse it here we put the garlic tossed it a little bit and then we put the bell pepper <laughs> We put the noodles in the pot and mixed it till it was ready. The three of us like these noodles with ketchup as right now we didn't even have a lot of ingredients. Usually we put egg out also and we put other things too. But here we didn't put a lot and anyway we like it with ketchup so we're going to eat with ketchup. We're going to show you guys later on. Now we put the pizza in the oven. So the cheese and the crust could get cooked. And this was the condition outside. It was pretty early for us to eat dinner. This is the first time we ate it so early. It's like 8 o'clock. And here we took out the, uh, the, we took out the noodles and they were tasting it. It was actually really nice. So this is a little bit what was going on these days. Here we took out the pizza. It was looking much more better. Also, if we didn't really put cheese, it would be a little dry. So we ate this. We ate this before Maghrib as well. So we stayed. Uh, we directly prayed Isha and we slept over here. We didn't have the cutter, so we had to use a knife to cut the pizza, which didn't really work out. But uh, when my dad cut it, it worked out pretty well. And here was the pizza, which we also had to eat with ketchup because there was not not enough sauce in it. Here is how we throw the trash in our building, as you all can see. Here's the disposal room. It was not very far from our how uh, our apartment. We just have to open this small door, and just it goes all the way to the dumpster down there. And we just close it, and that's how we throw our trash out here. Here is our lift right next to the dumpster place. Also, this was something unique for us and something new, so we thought of sharing it with you guys. So the exciting news that we were we, that we promised to tell you guys at the beginning of the video is that, that our mom, mom passed our G1 written, written exam. exam. So yes, you guys heard it right. Our mom has passed her G1 written test. There are three tests, G1, G2, and G, which our mom passed the G1, which from which she can drive on the regular roads, but not in highways, which is good for us, helpful for us, and for our father as she can drive us to uh, nearby parks and other lo uh, local places. And you guys might be thinking, how is that so good? But uh, usually people pass it after like two, three attempts. Our father as well, he passed it after doing it two times. But our mom passed it in her first attempt itself, which is a really great thing. And when we asked her why she, how she did it, she said that I, whenever you have a hard task to do, 
whenever you need help, you ask help from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by praying two rakat, nafil namaz, and then I will be reading a hadith. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam reports that Allah ta'ala said, A person keeps drawing closer to me th- through the nafil namaz, uh, optional act, until I make him my beloved. I then become his ears with, uh, by which he hears, his eyes by which he sees, his hands by which he holds, and his feet by which he's, his, he walks. If he makes dua for anything, I shall grant it to him. And if it, he seeks my protection for anything, I readily grant him protection. MashaAllah, such a nice hadith which shows us that whenever we, wa- we ask for help, rather than asking people of the world, we should ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So here we'll be ending our video. Hope you guys liked it. And please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye! Bye.